Welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. It's your homie Cody GT, and in today's video, my boys, I wanted to go ahead and do some gameplay on Luna Kindred and show some of the new open world in the Shixel HQ because I promised you guys that video in my last video. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Hopefully, it's not too long, uh, but it, it might be <laughs> just because there's a lot of things to go over in today's video but what i also wanted to go ahead and mention is some new things no what is this get out of here with all these notifications i promise you every single time never fails never fails but anyways moving on without that interruption um there are some things that i wanted to go over quickly that has dropped that is brand new to the global side of honkai impact 3 um the first being this reburn event which is actually really really cool i haven't really delved too much into it as you can see i've only completed 13 percent um and i've only done the first two uh stages there so as you can see there's a lot of stages i'm sure you guys probably completed all of it but i was thinking about doing this on stream live let me know if you guys would like to see that in the comments below or if you want me to just run through it and maybe do a couple of videos on it let me know in the comments below if you want me to do some videos or go live on this event that's why i have not done much of it but it is pretty cool so far and i've been enjoying it um up to this point and i know a lot of you guys have probably completed it already so let me know in the comments below how you would like me to go ahead and do that new event also i wanted to go ahead and mention there is a new supply much like the lost keys we had uh quite some time ago actually now um, with these candy canes, I guess for the Christmas where you can go ahead with this one's actually really cool You can either get one of the four-star weapons um, That you see there Thunder Kakaku uh, the Nagamitsu's uh, great sword the Sakura blossom the demon blade floor Sakura or the Flint Sonata all these weapons are really top tier except the great sword Nagamitsu that can be a solid Honkai core but the other ones are really, really good weapons, actually, that you can apply and utilize for your Valkyries if you don't have them already. Like, for example, I have all of them except the Thunder Kakaku and the Nagamitsu. Now, I pulled the Nagamitsu before. That instantly became a Honkai core. But the Thunder Kakaku, I've never pulled. And that would be one that I would love to go ahead and have. So that would be fantastic. But other than that, with the Candy Canes, you can also get Crystals, much like with the Lost Keys. Um, I did a video on that where I got a lot of Crystals at one point. Um, but you can also get imaginary cores, anti-entropy cores, really, really good items here. So, with that being said, as you can see, I have a hundred of those candy canes. I plan on going deep because with the lost keys, it was fantastic. I got a lot of crystals from them. I got a lot of good materials. So, um, with this candy cane one, I'm definitely going to go ahead and go deep and try and get the Thunder Kakaku as well as some crystals as far as that goes. So, I'll do that towards the end of the video. I probably won't do all 100. I'll probably do about... Uh, 50 of those and then um, save the other 50 for another video but with that being said let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay of Luna Kindred and show some of the new world in the uh, Shixel HQ which is the new world here which is actually really cool I like this new world because it's very different from the Sakura Samsara and there's a lot of things you can go ahead and take advantage of one thing that I did want to go ahead and just look at really quickly with this new open world is the hangar in the hangar, you have these mechs where you can go ahead and obtain by crafting here when you have the material. For example, I have 78. You only need 8 as the re required material to go ahead and craft. I'll go ahead and do one just as an example. So you'll have um, the one that you have already and then you'll have a new one that you went ahead and crafted. You can choose to save the old one that you have or select a new one. For me, I'm going to save the old one because it's much better. And then you can do it again and you just keep going this way. Um, as far as this one goes it's the same so it doesn't really matter what I do I'm just gonna save the old one and you get some of those uh, crafting uh, boxes I guess that's what they're called box of parts you get them back whenever you go ahead and select a new one or an old one um, and I think it's pretty random I don't think there's really a uh, set amount you get whether you get an old one or a new one whether you keep but this is my setup right now as far as my hanger goes um, I do have the Hercules, um, not the Hercules, is that what it's called? I believe. Yeah, the Hercules standard type, which is actually really awesome. I, I got that in crafting one of them, so um, that was really cool. But that's my setup right now, and the way you use those mechs is in the mecha defense. So you go to the mecha defense, and this is where you can deploy all mechs. I think I have, yeah, I have the, oh, never mind, I use them. I think you can do it <laughs> once a week. I never know if I have it or not. Um, but anyways, you go ahead and deploy them there, and um, you see them fight in a sense, and it's pretty cool. It's actually a good switch up to, you know, the normal gameplay. So that is the mecha defense. I might show that in the video when I have the chance to go ahead and do that. 
Now, as well as the Socket of Samsara, you have the exchange shop. In the exchange shop, you can go ahead and exchange for the um, souls or fragments as well as other materials and stigmatas here, just like the Socket of Samsara. But now there's new materials that you use to go ahead and do that. Um, as you can see, the materials have changed uh, quite, quite a lot, actually. But the materials used to craft these materials are still pretty much the same um, for most of them. Now, with that being said, just like Sakura, Sakura Samsar, you can go ahead and get these materials. Um, and there are new things in the shop to go ahead and obtain as well. So that's pretty cool and something I've been enjoying um, as far as this new open world. Now, with that being said as well, um, you have iChance Tech. So in the other one, you have Higu Kamaru um, in the Samsara. In the open world Shixel, you have iChance Tech right here. So you can use iChance. She follows you and she does cool stuff for you. Um, and you can level her up just like Higu Kamaru. So it's really cool and just a little different concept. But one thing about this open Shixel HQ as well is it has weather conditions and it actually plays a role. Um, so for example, you can have lightning, um, snow, rain. If you have lightning, for example, it can actually strike you if you stand in one spot for too long and it can harm you as well as the enemies. So that's very interesting. Um, the lightning can be a pain, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, but they have other weather conditions that affect the map as well. So that's really cool and you can um, see how it is on different sides. So you have the terminal and you have the factory. Right now in the terminal it's sunny and clear. In the factory it's lightning strike. So that's very cool. So just be um, cautious of that as far as when you're going to go ahead and do some adventures in this open world. I always check the weather conditions just to see what it's like. Uh, now moving on from there, you have the construction of the Godfather. I'm 70% complete. Um, with this, I'm not too sure what goes on after you have 100% completion. Um, but with that being said, I'm sure my SCA players and the Japanese players can let me know in the comments below um, what happens when this construction is complete. Um, and I have to do chapter 3 to get to the next completion um, of the construction. And I'm not there just yet, I don't believe. I believe I have to be level 10 to get there, and I'm not there just yet. So, um, moving on from there, we're going to go to Adventure Tasks. Much like Sakura Samsara, they have Adventure Tasks that you can go ahead and complete, and you can complete them on different sides. Now, the blue um, on the left-hand side of the task shows what area it's in, so all these are in the terminal. Green would be the factory, and the purple would be the port hub. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to jump into this. Um, and I probably won't do any of these trials because a lot of these trials, except maybe this one, um, they require you to get into that mech right there and then you just blow things up. So I won't be using Luna Kindred when I do that. So I will go ahead and go to this one right here where I can use Luna Kindred and actually show her off. So you can see I have her already on the team, um, which is fantastic. And I'll go over her a little bit and then we'll jump right into the gameplay. So. Luna Kindred is actually really cool and she's much different than the other Teresas in the game. The other Teresas, they kind of shoot like spears out or crosses, they're very rangy. Um, this Teresa is very close combat. Um, she uses like a sword or katana type, type of look to it, I'm not really too sure. It looks like a sword to me honestly. And um, she uses that to do close combat and she strikes very fast, that's what I really like about this Teresa, very different. Um, but with that being said, she is a creature type or biologic type as they now call it with this new update. Uh, she is mid-range melee DPS. Um, she, attacking bleeding enemies with basic attack recovers her HP, which is awesome. So she can recover her HP. And charge attacks cause enemies to bleed and can cause uh, suppress the enemy. And can suppress the enemy, excuse me. So um, that's really cool as you can see. Um, she's very simple to use. Uh, her survivability is pretty good. And she's pretty well rounded as far as that goes. Now, her main combination is Bleed, Charge, and Weaken. Now, her ultimate, Feast for the Dead, Drop the Axe, uh, Fallen from the Sky for large AoE damage, which is really cool. Um, and you can see the percentage of damage it does there. And it only costs 75 SP, which is great. And her leader skill, Mark of Cain, shortens duration of most debuffs by 20% of the team. Um, Biological uh, biologic type characters gains 12% physical damage, which is, which is good. I mean, I don't use the leader skill too often, but um, not bad. Now her applicable combination is Dimensional Break and Celestial Him. Um, usually probably for the Gather, Dimensional Break for the Bleed, which is awesome upon the Switch skill. And then uh, Celestial Him for the debuff and the Gathering and all that good stuff right there. Um, now her applicable uh, weapons and Sigmatas, you have the Blood Embrace, which I do have. Um, you have the Dracula set as well for this Sigmata set. And I have two of them, I don't have the mid, so that's a bit of a rip, but that's okay. Um, that's okay, I'll probably get it eventually. Now moving on from there, like I mentioned, I have the Blood Embrace on her right now, not maxed out at all. Um, I probably will max it out at some point in time. 
um, just not really a pertinent weapon for me at the moment. Um, now I have the Dracula top, the Attila mid, and the Dracula bottom. Um, just a really good set for her for the bleed, um, cause more damage, she can heal upon, you know, using the set as well. Um, and the set I believe, does it, does it create bats? I'm not sure if it creates bats or if Luna Kidrid herself creates the bats, but um, either way, she has bats that follow her and it's actually really, really cool um, to see. I believe it might just be on Luna Kindred herself, which is actually really awesome. So, uh, anyways, moving on from there. I don't know why I got so hung up on that. Um, as far as her skills, I haven't really delved too much into her skills. I just haven't really had the resources and skill material to actually do that. Um, so I've been kind of saving it uh, until I get more. And as far as her leveling up, I have her at S rank and I am nowhere near double S rank. So, with that being said, that is Luna Kindred. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and jump into a gameplay. Let me bring, actually, um, Dimensional Break for that switch skill. All right, perfect. And we'll go ahead, we'll jump into some gameplay and show her off a little bit. I mainly just want to show off her um, charge attack, which is really awesome. She brings out that giant axe and she just swings that thing around. Um, and then her ultimate is what I wanted to really show. But she is really good as a Valkyrie. The problem is for me with Luna Kindred is that she's a creature type or a biologic type. And there's just so many good biologic type Valkyries that I can use instead of her. For example, so uh, not Sakura, <laughs> uh, Miko. Uh, there is Miko Sakura, there is Flame Sakitama, there is Night Moonbeam, um, there is Snowy Sniper, Black Nucleus. I mean, there's just so many really good uh, biologic type Valkyries that Luna Kindred is hard to get her on a team um, to actually go ahead and use. What I'm going to do is actually fight these guys here um, just so I could show her off a little bit. So that's been my issue, but whenever I can, I just throw in, especially like for open world. So there we go. We got that right there we can do the QTE and then we can take her out and look she already has the charge attack full so we're gonna go ahead and use that look at that look at that giant axe and look there goes the uh, <laughs> there goes the bat I think it looks so cool with her because it's just so appropriate um, and I think they just follow yeah they follow for a time okay so um, actually let me go over here we can go ahead and do this one right here perfect um, let me go ahead and take out I want to do the QTE and the um, switch skills and then get her out. Um, actually, well, let's see here. Okay, I thought I dodged. There we go. Now we'll do the QTE for here. That's great. And then we'll take her out. Axe. And now we can go right into the axe. And you can see she does um, good damage. Now keep in mind, I understand this is open world. Nothing too crazy. Um, but she does do good damage here. So there we go. And the um, ultimate evasion is time fracture, which you guys know I love the time fracture it's awesome but as you can see her strikes are very fast but it's very close range uh, and it's not like most Teresa's where you're shooting from afar um, with a with the cross as you can see she has like two swords and she just swings them around very efficiently now the best thing to go ahead and do with this Teresa is actually use the blood embrace drop that down as far as the weapon skill and then go ahead and go right into the ultimate which there you go right there she just drops the axe down and then from there, you can go ahead and go right into Axe Hits um, and just really do some good damage right there. Oh, we got some more. Okay, let's keep it up. Let's go. Um, so then you just keep going like that. So she is a really, really good Valkyrie. I love using her, like I mentioned, from time to time. But by no means is she like a super powerhouse for like Affinity Abyss or Memorial Arena or, you know, anything of that nature. There are, you know, better Valkyries that are stronger than her that do much better than her. But, um... She is a very good Valkyrie to have in place um, to run open world, um, to run story events, things like that. Um, or just for example, if you don't have any good biologic type uh, Valkyrie, she's a very, very good replacement. So let me go ahead and drop the weapon skill. Boom. There you go. Oh, I thought I had the ultimate on the ready. I didn't. There we go. Now I got it. Now we drop the ultimate. Boom. Now let's drop out the big axe and keep that up, knocking guys around. There you go awesome awesome job so she's all uh, by the way her aesthetics can we just can we just appreciate the aesthetics she looks awesome she's actually my most favorite looking um Ter teresa in the game in my opinion so with this open world this open world is actually really cool you can collect things on the side just like sakura samsara um this open world once you get the hang of it is actually really really um you know easy to get down um let me see here for a second and what I like about this open world is you can actually summon vehicles to actually use 
to um, get around the open world. So, I, for example, this one here, I can get in this mech, and this mech actually kind of teleports, or not teleports, kind of floats. And you can run around with this mech, you can fight with this mech, um, and you can use other um, vehicles in the game to go ahead and get around this open world, which is actually really, really cool to go ahead and use um, when it comes to that. So that's something that I really, really enjoy about this open world, is being able to use these mechs to fight, to fly around, to get around, and things like that. Um, it just actually makes it really, really cool. And I think I'll go live just flying around the new open world and um, doing events and things like that. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in the comments below as well. Um, so I'm going to go over here. Let me actually go over here for a second. Um, let me get out of here. Let me see if I can summon a new one. Nope, it's just that one. Okay, well, that's great. Um, I wanted to see if I could show off a different can I nope it's just this one okay never mind I wanted to see if I could show off a different one but that's that's fine um, now these guys here are very difficult to fight I have I've tried to fight one and I almost insta died so I haven't fought this one just yet um, I think I have to be level 7 is that that's what that's indicating so I could probably take it right now but I'm not going to I'm just gonna leave him alone <laughs> All right, let me go over here. I'm going to show a bit more gameplay of Luna Kindred, and then we're going to go ahead and jump right into the summon. So let me see if I can find somebody over here. Um, I think I saw some some people over here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, hopefully I can find somebody fairly quickly. Um, I think there should be somebody over here. Nope, I think that's just where I came from. Let me go back over here. I think there's some more people over here. Yep, here we go. Okay. And with this, you can actually disable these, which is really cool. Boom, disable them, and that way you can't get located. But for the sake of the video, we're going to get located, and we're going to put in some work here. So let's do it. All right, so let me take out. I uh, got hit there. All right, there we go. Let's do this. There we go. I'm going to drop that down as well. Let's do that. I didn't realize how low my health is <laughs> at the moment. There we go. We got the time fracture. And you can use iChan to blow things up like that, which is really cool. Helps out a bit. Okay, okay. Um, let me dodge here. Dodge there. All right, let's take out this. Do some damage here. There we go. Put in some work there. Do that. That's very nice. Okay, let me get out of the way. Let me do that. And let me do the QTE here. Perfect. All right, we knocked him out of the way. Perfect, perfect. So that is Luna Kindred. Um, she's really, really good Valkyrie. I like her a lot, um, but like I mentioned, that's the only issue that I run with Luna Kindred is that she's biologic, and there's just a lot of good, good biologic type Valkyries to use instead of her. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and end the video over on the summons here and see what we can get today. Hopefully, we can pull some fire. Hopefully, we can pull the Thunder Kakaku. Um, we'll see. So, like I mentioned, I did I did some summons on here. I got some good stuff. So let's go ahead. We're gonna jump right into um, a multi, and we'll do five multis and end the video like that. So I hope you've been enjoying the video so far. If you do, go ahead and drop a like again, um, and consider subscribing if you are new. I don't know if I even went over that whole spiel. I probably did not, but that's okay. We got 300 crystals, and that's what's up. So moving on from there, we got some treasure got 100 crystals very nice I will take that we got some more treasure we got 50 crystals we got some more treasure and all this is much needed like the treasures um, the crystals like I need all that because I'm very low on the treasure or uh, coins I should say so I, I need all that all right very nice very nice and we got one candy cane back let's actually use that one candy cane really quickly there we go very good and we got some more treasure I'll take that so let's go ahead let's go on to the second multi here let's see if we can get some more good stuff on this one. Oh, oh what am i doing <laughs> i'm passing everything up all right we got some more treasure uh some more soul crystals some more soul crystals more soul crystals i'll take it there we go there's the crystals another candy cane some more treasure i'll take it all right, perfect. So not as much crystals there, but we got we got a good amount of treasure there. Let's go ahead and jump into another multi. And let's see um, if we can get anything good. There we go. We got a crystal. Another candy cane. I'll take that. Some ether crystals. I'll definitely take that as well. Another candy cane. All right. I'll actually take that. That's the stamina refresh. That's very nice. 
Definitely, definitely need those. Some more stamina refresh. Very nice. 100 crystals. Definitely take that. All right, not bad. Not bad. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's jump into another one. Let's see what we can get here on this one. Um, so uh, not absolute fire, but minimal fire. <laughs> minimal fire, but nothing too crazy. 25 crystals. I'll take it. Okay, I'll take the 25 crystals all day long if you want to give them to me for sure. All right. Very nice. All right, twin ether crystals. I'll take that. All right, so decent, decent. So let's go ahead. We'll jump into, uh, I believe, let's do one more and then maybe three more singles and see what we can get here. And then we'll go ahead and end the video. All right, we got some more crystals, another candy cane, some more treasure, some more crystals, another candy cane, 100 crystals. I'll take that. Oh, okay. We got the imaginary core. I will take that as well. 25 crystals there. Some more treasure. Another candy cane. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's do, we'll do one more multi. This will be a speed multi. We'll just run through this one and then I'll go ahead and end the video. So uh, speed multi uh, really quickly to end the video and then we'll go ahead and get out of here. So let's see here. Speed multi. Anything good? Okay. Okay, we got a lot of stamina refresh. We got two more candy canes. Okay, very nice. So we'll go ahead and end the video. That was good enough right there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it slightly entertaining or informative or a little bit of both. And if you did, like I mentioned before, go ahead and drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. It means a lot to me. And if you're new to the channel, you enjoyed the content today, you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe for more content like this and much more in the future. And remember to hit the notification bell to stay notified every time I do upload a video or go live. But with that being said, my boys, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, I forgot to mention, look at Kiana's outfit. How did I forget to mention that? There was so much things going on in the beginning of the video. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. One, that means a lot. Um, but two, look at Kiana's outfit. It looks fantastic. She looks awesome. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out.